Hello again, welcome back to the channel. It's Mr. Fox coming to you from Digital Fox Labs. Today we're going to be talking about our Sorare Tinfoil Alpha news to help you guide you on your Sorare journey. None of this financial advice. We are not financial advisors. Everything said here is 100% our opinion. As we see here on the highlights of the Sorare on the football sector, because if you don't know, you can also play Major League Baseball, is we have here a brand new team, which is FC Midgetland, right? And then we also have uh, Alborg BK, right? And then see here, Champion Europe Referral Rewards. Okay, so you also get referral rewards in the form of Champion Europe. Again, if you uh, want ahead, uh, if you want to go ahead and start your Sorare journey with us, go ahead and look at the links below, and you will find a Sorare link. At which point, you will partake in said Sorare and get access to certain specific cards. Once you buy uh, a certain amount of limited, I believe it's five limited cards. If I'm not mistaken, you get a free one. On top of that news, we also have a new Legends card in the form of Alessandro Castacurta, um, an Italian card who plays for Milan. And the current price roughly is around $33 for the limited. Let's go ahead and have a look-see, shall we? Uh, go to Own Your Legend. And yeah, so you're looking at 33 USD, roughly around for a limited. And then roughly, uh, if you want to, if you have the funds, you can go ahead and spend $1,500 to get yourself a, um, a blue edition, a super rare, or you can get a regular rare for roughly around $450 to about $500 USD. And so if you have the money, and this... This is the interesting thing. If you're going to acquire one of these, they have a two-fold collectability to them. So not only are you getting to access the collectibles in a digital form of a well-renowned player, but also the cards have utility in uh, competing in certain tournaments. Now, as of lately, there have not been any prizes for those tournaments, but that could change down the road. So it's also like a speculation, if you will. So let's go ahead and get right into why you are here. You want to hear transfer news and the ability to uh, essentially just come out on top with certain things. So here we have Hector Bellerin, who will join permanently Real Betis as a free agent, which he is coming from Arsenal. And so we see here the current price is 17 euros with his rare being roughly around 125 euros. So he is going to be a starter. He is 27 years old. So he is not going to um, decline in the aspect because of age. So he is definitely one that you need to keep on your radar. Let's go ahead and look at his SO5 score, shall we? Let's go with uh, all time here. And we see here that he ranges roughly around, let's just say the 40 uh, high 30s, low 40s, with the occasional green uh, 50s and 60s. And that means that essentially he could be one of your long-time holds for a defender. And if you are uh, lucky enough to have him in the rare spec, well, you may very well actually make a good investment on in that because it is a high probability that you may see Real Betis perform well in European uh, tournament play. Next, we have Eric Bailey. There is no cards out for him, but he is someone that you need to go ahead and put on your radar. So go ahead and right here, go ahead and give him a um, click on this heart right here and then set up your watch list because once they auction off these, he is going to fly off. And usually auctions sell for less than if you were to acquire them on the free market, secondary market. He is coming from Sevilla. And uh, look, sorry, he's coming from Manchester United and we'll be going to Sevilla more than likely. All right, next, we are going to have PK, who is coming to you from Barcelona. What's interesting is he was asked to cut his wages as he is no longer the number one defender that they are looking to focus on. So is it time to sell PK? Is it time to take some profits off of it? He's currently going for 13 euros in limited and 183 euros respectively on the rare. Not to mention there is still more room for the printing of more PK cards, because I believe limiteds have a thousand at their disposable and rares have roughly around, um, I believe it is a hundred or maybe uh, somewhere around there. But what's interesting to know is he is a performer. So he very well may at the very least come on as a substitute or maybe even start the first uh, period. But we see here on SO5 scores, let's go ahead and pull this up for you so that you could dictate on whether you want to sell or not. We see here, hold on, we got to get all here. And uh, come on, get off of it. There we go. We see here that he does have a uh, area of do, do not plays or did not plays. But when he does play, he does perform very extremely well. And so what's interesting to know is that maybe it is time to go ahead and take some profits on your PK. Exchange him in for another defender. Maybe we have talked uh, about one in the past and you can use it as either a a discount or b a complete swap depending on if uh 
when you exactly got in your um, price ranges, right? Next, and I have to apologize for the uh, lawn mowing that's happening in the background, all right? So if you hear that, that's exactly what that is. So next up, we have another person from Barcelona who is Sergio Busquets, who was also, again, asked to cut his wages. But what's interesting enough is he will more than likely get more playing time because it is difficult to find a replacement for him. And not to mention, he does have, I believe, a year or two more uh on his contract as opposed to pk and now we see here he is a center defender uh, sorry a center midfielder uh plays roughly around the defensive midsection and he does have the ability to move up and get an assist or maybe even uh a goal as well and let's go to look at what he ranks on the so5 scores now we see here that he does play a lot more than PK. We see here he has only one DNP where the rest that he performed roughly in the green section. So this could be one that you go ahead and take an investment in now if you want and just unload it uh, probably at the end of the year. Uh, not financial advice, but just, you know, just food for thought, you know. And he is priced roughly around triple and probably because it is reflected in his contracts and all the news surrounded by PK and Barcelona's new contracts and market cap uh, issues they got going on. Next, we have Ronaldo with spec on where he's going to go, what's going to happen with Ronaldo, um, that's yet to be seen, right? But he has no limited cards out, and it's fair to say when they do come out, it will be for the current team, wherever that may be, right? He is with Man United right now. He is 37 years old. He is looking for a Champions League team. Will he stay with a Champions uh, Championship League team, or will he go with the Europa League? We don't know. Currently, he is priced in the rare section of only having 146 cards at roughly around 2,000 euros. And so if you want to speculate, you could go ahead and purchase one of these cards now. He is still highly competitive. He does get on the score sheet and does um, compete regularly even when he comes on as a substitute. He does perform very well. And let's go ahead and look at the scores to just reconfirm that, right? Let's go to alls. And we see here that... Uh, he has a few DMPs, but overall, he does perform very, very well. Next up on the news, transfer Memphis to Pi. So Chelsea want Memphis to Pi, and Barca want $20 million for his services. Now, what's key to note is that he does have on Sorer 450 cards out and 184 cards out for rares, respectively. And they are highly priced. Uh... I it's unclear as to whether or not he is priced accordingly, um, considering that his start time has diminished at the club. And so it's unknown to where he, he is landing, right? But if he goes to Chelsea, he will have to compete for a spot for um, uh, up top, right? And it's very competitive up top, but who knows? Maybe Tuchel could uh, find a way to make him, uh, I guess play right and uh, score for his club but we shall see but what's interesting to know is barcelona is reorganizing all their players and this does not end for memphis to buy right here because next up we have barcelona wanting to get rid of frankie de jong now unlike the pie they want 80 million euros for this individual who is three years younger and his services are roughly in the midfield and he could very well be on his way to Manchester United but also Chelsea want him as well and there's even speculation that Barcelona and Chelsea are wanting to do a um a full-on uh, accumulation of both players both Dutchmen and will that happen well we don't know we don't know but there is one more because this story does not end here. Now, if you're interested in De Jong at all, let's go ahead and look at his scores. So we click on SO5. And I am using Sorer data to go ahead and pull all these up. And it is one of the best aggregates, if not the best aggregate, for getting all your information for Sorer and the players associated with it. And here is his playing. We see here he is highly in the 40s and above uh, whenever he does play. So it's fair to say that this would be a great investment. Now, if you had to choose between Depay and Frankie de Jong, in terms of just statistics alone, um, Frankie de Jong would be the best, right? He's three years younger. He plays more. There's a lot more opportunity for midfield players to play in terms of so rare because there's just more positions in the midfield specifically. Not to mention both of them also are on the international team, but he is roughly around half the price of Memphis Depay. So in terms of what you get for your money, it looks like De Jong would be the best of the two if you just look at the prices right here, right? And so next up, we have the conclusion of the whole Chelsea-Barcelona 
theory is, oh, looks like we have a little bit of freeze here. Let's go ahead and find out, is Timo Warner. Right. So there could be a uh, speculation in that Timo Warner would be part of the narrative of switching Depay and De Jong to Chelsea, at which Chelsea would have to pay uh, an undisclosed amount, maybe, or an unknown amount, and on top of um, giving them Timo Warner. Again, he is German. He is 26 years old. He does get decent playing time. Will he get the equal playing time in Barcelona? We don't know because the managing has changed and the managing is different between Chelsea and Barcelona. But what's interesting is that if they want Timo Warner part of the package, he very well could be competing with a lot of members. And uh, we see here he does not have any substantial playing time since his arrival at Chelsea because he was competing with Lukaku and other individuals as well. And now we see that his price, he only has 11 limited out, but they're going for roughly 380 euros. And on top of that, he only has 48 rares going for roughly $1,600. So it's fair to say that there will be an auction later on for both limited and maybe even some rares, which could either A, deflate the price or maybe increase it, which would be um, a simple supply and demand uh, where people just want to FOMO into getting a team of Warner, especially if he goes to Barcelona just because of the name in itself. Uh, so this could potentially pan out for individuals that want to trade. Um, but as far as having him on your roster to play in tournaments on so rare, uh, maybe not so much. Now, we did say there was one more thing that is um, uh, with Barcelona, but there is yet another thing that just came across. We have here Barcelona and PSG are interested in negotiations with Bernardo Silva. Again, go ahead and bookmark it. He has no cards out, but his uh, playing time we see here just with the last 40 matches, 15 and 5. He will be a regular player. He is only 27 years old. And uh, they would be one of those individuals that you hold and who will perform well in tournaments that you submit him in, as well as an investment if that is the route you want to go. Next up, and for some reason, Sora Data is not working right now. Let me just go ahead and refresh this for you. Let's see if this works out. Mm, let's see what we have here. We have Eric Jr. Dina Ibeme. Now, what's interesting about this individual, he's under 23. He is currently 21. He has 79, uh, sorry, he has 124 cars out for limited, roughly going for 79 euros and 14 rares for 285. Now, this could be a very well under the radar individual. Uh, the reason we say that is because if we just look right here at his all time scores, Okay, scroll down here. And even though he does not play because the competition is quite heavily, he is getting some playtime with PSG. Now, even though it's very much in the 20s and he had one that was in the 50s, right? The fact that he's getting playtime indicates that he is capable of playing top tier football. But because of his age and the competition at PSG, he's just not getting that, um, uh, that pitch time, right? So... They very well could unload him or put him on loan. So th that would make the perfect opportunity for you individuals out there to get a limited or even a rare card and uh, just hold on to it and just wait for him to transfer out to another team or be put out on loan to another team, at which then he will be ready because he does have the experience. He does have the training. He does have all the necessary tools to go ahead and be a starter, a regular starter at his next loan or transfer area. Now, there was another, I think it's this one. There was another tidbit of news, but it just did not work on Sora Data. They're having a little bit of difficulties. Let's go ahead and find out what this one is. That's Frankie de Jong. was not that one. Uh, so I have two Frankie. Okay. So that was it. So final last one. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. He also has a possible move back to the, to the Premier League, uh, going to Chelsea. Uh, he is not getting the play time that he possibly would want as far as him fitting in. Well, um, I, I, d I don't really know. Don't really follow Barcelona that much, but what is interesting is he did play under Tuchel when they were both at Dortmund. So Dortmund would be interested in his services, at least to help maintain whatever status quo they have there at Chelsea currently, and probably even next year to help the transition into a new uh, system there at Chelsea that they are currently going through. He does have very limited cars currently, and considering that he does have starter potential and is a striker and is at 33. This might very well be not only an opportunity to gain some uh, car, a card that is 
going to get you a starter role and some decent points, but also an investment. It will hold its value. And we see here he is currently trading for 89 euros and there's only 49. That is supply and demand at its finest, but yet that this just shows that the demand is not there and the supply is low. So once he does transfer out of Barcelona, it is fair to say that this car will easily double. This is easily a 2x opportunity, um, especially if he transfers. Now, proof of how he is able to compete and stay at the top form is the fact that he did transfer to Barcelona, which is a very competitive team to even get a position on. And look at the performance he's had, all of which is 40 and above with mostly uh, it being roughly, if you want to average it out, it could be around 45 or higher. So just putting him on there, more than likely he is putting him in a tournament. He is going to perform for you. And that concludes our transfer news for Sorare. Happy days, happy trading, and good luck to you on your career journey.